What what happened? Hmm? I say what happened? Nothing. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was I didn't expect you to come all the way over to this post office. That oh. was my fault completely and I'm a little annoyed at myself. Oh, so you're pissed off right now a little bit. No, I'm not pissed off. Absolutely not. I'm just You happy? Annoyed with myself. I'm annoyed with myself. I'm not pissed off. Oh. Big difference. Get it, get it twisted. Beautiful. Palm trees. And you said, wait, can you ask Siri again what the weather is? Hey Siri, can you give me the temperature today? The high temperature for today will be 98 degrees and the low will be 66 degrees. Thank you, Siri. Can you ask Siri what the temperature is right now? Hey, Siri, what is the temperature right now? It's about 98 degrees outside. Hot. Hey, Siri, thank you. Don't mention it. That's very interesting to me because this doesn't... to your boy and your girl here oh, what's up what's going on yeah uh right now as you heard i guess you heard i don't know how much you heard but uh it is let me see here Ta -da. it is exactly it's exactly 98 degrees outside I say it's exactly 98 degrees outside. And if you can see back there by your girl on the steps here, your girl, my girl, she is wearing long, thick jeans. She's not sweating. She seems a little bit upset because of the direction. We came all the way downtown, the midtown, downtown, um, Phoenix right now. This that big net thing in the background there. That big structure that I've been looking at on YouTube for months that I finally got a chance the other day to see for the first time. But uh yeah, she's wearing back to back to our girl here. She's wearing jeans and uh she is not burning up anything, but then you know your boy, your boy got on the the shorts, the shorty shorts and everything. And uh you know, that's just what it is. Now, let me tell you, a lot of people have been asking about how is the weather? How are you going to deal with this extra hot weather out here? Well, the sun is beaming down right now. And to be honest, how, how, many, how many degrees does it feel like to you out here? about 75 80 all right well to me because <laughs> it's 98 degrees so you might as well say it's 100 degrees you round up because that's from school you round up you figure 98 to 100 degrees yeah, math. that's math okay yeah math, math. learn math in school so uh you, you know that a 98 degrees mm. back in new york with the humidity, we would be sweating, miserable, yeah, upset. Cranky. 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 Cranky, you know, like when you're hungry. Cranky. Are you hungry? Yeah. That's what the problem is. She's starving. Come on, let's go on across the street here so we can get get to getting you something to eat. So, uh, yeah. It says wait. <laughs> it's a red light, but it says wait. I don't know if you want to go ahead and just give it a try and just go. Oh, we would have got caught out there. Look at that. Green light. Pat ass. Traffic. Pat ass. But, um, yeah, so this 98 degrees in Arizona, in case y'all don't know, it feels to, like between 70, 75 degrees. I mean, it really doesn't feel bad at all. It feels great to me. It feels nice and comfortable. So I can understand. I can understand why they say, you know, the, the weather gets to be 115 down here. The 115 with this dry heat is a 
total, 115, 120, it's a total different feel. So it's not like if you're used to having, you know, that muggy type of humidity type of thing. It's totally different than, um, than what we're used to. So, yeah, it's just, um, it's very comfortable. It feels great. I love this. I love the way it feels. Uh, look at the palm trees in the background, always around. And it's just beautiful. Everybody's nice over here. Everybody's friendly. It's awesome. I was just talking to one of my nephews on the phone. He lives in Virginia. And he said that they want to retire and they want to go to North or South Carolina. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? What the heck would you want to do something silly like that for you need to come here it feels like i am in heaven here it feels amazing it feels great 24 hours 12 months out of the year nothing but summertime living a life out here i've been missing out for years i'm glad better late than never glad we finally made it so yeah so uh that's just my little report here I was really surprised. I just said, uh, you know, somebody left some Starbucks iced tea. I get, uh, let me tell y'all something about Starbucks, period. My girl loves her some doggone Starbucks. So every time, every, every time I see or hear Starbucks, I get just about as upset as I don't know what. Yeah. Don't want to hear about no Starbucks, y'all. I'm not a Starbucks type of person. I'm a smoothie type guy. But yeah, so that, that's what it is, man. Little report. 98 degrees outside. Nice and warm. Very comfy. Nobody out here dying of anything. Nobody uncomfortable. Just lovely. Your boy just got finished paying his taxes. I made way more this past year than I have in the past. So, I had to pay. Yep, it's upsetting. I didn't plan on that. Put a damper in it. So, at the end of the day, once again, like I said, I love providing information to you, my peoples, to try to help you all and all types of things. I don't have the rights to this music. YouTube, I don't have the rights to that music. So don't try to put no strikes against me on that. You know you guys are funny acting with that. But um, yeah, so at the end of the day, just paid taxes, my income taxes is done. Continue it's not on a game. Central Avenue for three quarters of a mile. And uh, still don't have a job yet, I do have some training coming up to something not nothing like it's coming up in another week and a half on the 23rd I start hopefully I'll get something maybe a little better but something better than nothing um, so yeah we got about a, a little week about a weekend yeah a weekend three days if you're not counting the weekend and then I'll be in training where they do like full benefits I think from the very beginning and stuff is very, very low, very low pay. I'm gonna keep you guys abreast on what's going on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all as usual. Wow, not like these. Well, I don't really care about what anybody else is doing out here because I, I, you know, I respect everybody, but I'm just saying I don't have the rights to that. YouTube, I don't have the rights to that, but um, turn right for North Central Avenue, then turn right onto North Central Avenue. The thing is. I like to provide way more information than the Street average Joe Avenue. out here. Then turn right onto North so, Central look Avenue. at this exterminator right here. Look at that truck. Yeah, so that's what it is, y'all. So thanks for watching. Till the next time, you know, I'll get up with you guys in a couple of days. Look at how nice these people are right here. Thank you very much. You. They are backing up. They backed up to let us creep in here. Like, this, this is what I'm talking about. We don't get this in New York. People will be mad, giving you the... They try to ram you off the road and...
throw stuff at you. And they're just so generous out here. They're just so kind. Like, I honestly, guys, no one will be upset coming here. Excellent right. jobs. Excellent living. Uh, Head west you can on have, West Fillmore Street you can ha- First Avenue. You can have some In stuff out here. Feet, turn right onto North Third Avenue. I say you can have some stuff out here, man. And uh, it will make you feel, if you have any stresses to where you live at, it'll make you feel good. And yeah, my glasses are dirty. They need to be clean. That's because, yeah, that's because your boy be splashing in the jacuzzi in the pool and don't be bothering to wipe it off. I'm getting ready to go home and get in the jacuzzi and pool right now. But, um, yeah, so at the end of the day, look at it, look at these palm trees. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Turn this. right onto North Third Avenue. Is this beautiful or what? <laughs> like, we're not used to this. We're used to buildings and We're not used Continue to beautiful North Third Avenue for a half mile. We're not used to beautiful scenery like this, y'all. We are not used to this. <laughs> So, yeah, so at the end of the day, man, thanks for watching. Love you guys, man. Your boy, Chocolate Vegan. Till the next time, I will keep y'all posted on what's going on out here in Arizona, y'all. Good life out here. Good life. Just need a job, man. Need a job. Need a better job. Need a decent job out here. Praying. Pray for me. Oh, yeah, and you guys can still donate to your boy to help me out here. Stuff ain't no joke. Paid them income tax today. <sighs> Not a game. So, yeah, GoFundMe.com forward slash Chocolate Vegan. That's all one word squished together. I said GoFundMe.com forward slash Chocolate Vegan. Help your boy out, man. Any little bit helps, man. I'm giving y'all all this good information. You ain't gonna get this nowhere else. You gonna get people blowing smoke up your behinds and stuff. Not really keeping it real. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna let you know what's going on. So I love you guys, man. Thanks for all the comments. Y'all, the comments... Feet, turn left onto West Culver Street. The comments are over the top. And how we getting around out here, you hear the GPS in the background. The GPS is very important. It will help you get anywhere. It will make your life much better. So, oh. Look like we got a lot of traffic. I'm, I'm going to hold on for a second because I want you guys to West Culver Street. I want you guys to see a little traffic if we get to Head west see it. Toward North Fifth Avenue. But look at, look at the palm trees, North y'all. Fifth Avenue, then turn right onto West Portland Street. Look at the palm trees. Now look at the traffic if you guys can see ahead right there. It seems bumper to bumper, back to back. I don't know if we're going to be in that. Hopefully not. Are we going to be in that? Yeah. No. I don't know why. That's good. Oh, it's telling us the best route. Maybe, I guess. Yeah, that's the thing too about the GPS. GPS will give you the best route. So if you got some nonsense going on, it will tell you the best route to go. Head west. Look at this, y'all. Can y'all believe that? We haven't ran into any of that since we've been here. And we've been here. Feet, turn right onto West Portland Street. We've been here for two turn and a half. Turn right onto West Portland Street. We've been here for two and a half weeks now. But look at these neighborhoods, y'all. Look at these. Look at these. In 600 feet, look at the trees. Right North look at these. Avenue. Look at the homes. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not flashing too much back and forth for y'all. Because we hate when we watch videos and we see people flashing back and forth. Turn right onto North 7th Avenue. These are really some really nice, comfortable looking homes. Now, let me tell you something also, guys. We've noticed that when we were looking on YouTube and we also heard information from someone who lives out here said, oh, the only thing I don't like is all the houses are the same color. And as you guys are seeing, if you want to rewind what this block that we just came up, the houses are different colors out here, y'all. There's not the same Continue color houses. Continue on North Seventh Avenue for seven miles. It's not the same color seven houses. Miles? Okay. It's 
different color houses out here. You know, you can go into communities that I guess have that, but everything is not the same. Look at this. Look at this. Have you guys ever seen anybody who does Arizona vlogging that shows the backed up traffic like that? I don't think so. No one wants to put the bad things out here. We're going to put everything out here no matter what it is. It is what it is, man. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. You guys get to see exactly 100% of what it is. I don't know if you guys want me to keep on filming or if you want me to just go ahead and shut it down right now. But um, look at the graffiti right here, y'all. Look at that. This is a, the office bowl. Look at that. Classically done. Look at that street right there. Look at the people at 98 degrees outside. Ain't nobody mad. People are having fun, friendly, chit-chatting with each other. Look at it. Look at that doggone Starbucks right there, y'all. What the? Oh. Jeez Louise, as they say. I cannot avoid it. Yeah, guys, I would hope to show you guys a couple of the fruit trees out here. Like, we've been rolling past. I've seen so far since I've been out here, I've seen lemon trees, so many, full of lemons. Every tree that I see that I'm going to mention, they are full of fruit. Lemon trees, orange trees, those are the majority right there, lemon and orange. And then I've seen some grapefruit trees here. Those are the three different fruit trees that I've seen okay now we're sitting here doing nothing I know this is I know this kind of sucks here guys but uh look at that one tall building in the background that's what I love about here man it's not like New York where it's tall buildings everywhere apartments <laughs> More homes. Got the different color homes. No, they're not all the same color. Look at over here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the mountains way miles and miles and miles and miles ahead of us. Like, it's beautiful. So, yeah, y'all. This is what it is, man. This is where I live now. If you guys go back a month, you will see my living in New York, which was terrible to me. To me. Everybody has, you know, things that they like and that they don't like. I don't like. Me no like New York. Oh, that was a little orange tree that we passed. Look at the oranges right there, y'all. Look at the oranges. It's like four orange trees next to each other. Beautiful. I told y'all, it's not a game out here. It's wonderful out here. I'm so fascinated. I can't get over it. Very exciting. So yeah, it's 19 minutes going into 20. I don't know, y'all. It's Like I said, it's kind of heavy traffic right now, so it's no real sense in breaking our necks showing too much out here but this is what it is man Arizona living Arizona living KFC oh shoot they got a little bit of every they got old school new school they got all type of food and restaurants whatever you like as far as the vegan lifestyle they have everything you need look at that truck broke down that's why I don't that's why when I get a vehicle, y'all, I don't want to deal with a used vehicle because getting broken down is the worst thing that could possibly happen to anybody. And now we're in a city where a lot of, you know, you're close around a lot of things. But picture, you haven't seen, there's places out here where you go for miles and there's nothing but beautiful mountains, nothing around, sometimes not even no people around. 
And they do have wild animals out here. They probably got monsters and aliens and all type of things going on. So the boy don't want to get caught out there.